Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Mike from Retirement Train Straight Talk, where I give you the simple truth every day, every video from my perspective. All right, so as you can tell behind me, we're at Smith Mountain Lake up here in Virginia. Um, I'd love to tell you I got a lot of fish, man. And the sad thing is most fish here are between six and eight pounds. These bass, they got crappies and they uh, crapper. They got uh, uh, striped striped bass here as well. And here's the truth. The truth is, I got the dang fish right up to the dock. I'm serious. He must have been between six. He snapped my line between six and seven pounds. He was big. Bent my pole in half. Got him right to the to, to the dock. The dock's a little bit ways from the water. I want to say three feet, two, three feet from the water. Maybe four. Um, as I was pulling up, he snapped that damn thing, wiggling, jiggling, gone. Pissed me off. I've had several bites since then no fish i'm leaving tomorrow morning i'll go back there tonight it's starting to rain a little bit here today i'll go back there tonight and try to get another one but boy as you can tell behind me this is pretty isn't it real nice so yeah again if you haven't subscribed yet my name is mike again um this is my channel I talk about retirement all things retirement from financial to to life in retirement uh think about what you're you're doing getting ready for retirement uh my buddy tony and i are thinking about buying a place but a little cabin somewhere i'm not sure if it's going to be virginia or somewhere but it's got to be centrally located where we both can go to and and we'll probably rent it out for the rest of the time but other than that you know something we're thinking about and um be, because we've done this a few times it's a hassle bringing everything up every time you come um, it's nice to have a place where you have your own stuff set up, your own dishes, your own, your own gear. All you do is come up, get in the boat, and roll, right? Well, it's costly, too, now. That's not cheap. So I got to take that into probably consideration here if we do think about buying something. Personally, i just rather rent. I don't want to buy the cow. I just want to get the milk know what i mean anyway what should we talk about today besides that uh anyway that's just one thought real quick smith mountain lake it goes the the uh, inlet is deep it goes far there's a lot of fish in here and and, and you know if i had a boat I, I could get one but you know you can pull them in right from the dock quite frankly i've, I've been and, I, and again i did pull them in as you as you just heard but it don't count unless it's on the dock, right? Or I got a picture of it to prove it. <laughs> In any case, they're there. Um, so let's talk about what I'm doing here and how I got here. Well, give an example. I flew from Virginia. Now, you know, I, flight alone is probably $600, right? Because it's a five-hour flight. Layovers, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Um, I think I flew, although I, I think I flew business class, but still, uh, probably $700, 800 bucks, but still the average flight's about five, $600, right? So not to mention, right? The cabin probably seven, 800 bucks for three nights. Okay. It ain't cheap, right? The folks who have these four cabins in a row here or five cabins in a row, well, they, they're making some pretty money during the summer right so i guess what i'm getting at here is if you want to live like this and retire like this you got to plan for it some don't some do some of you are, already might have a cabin that was given to you by your family passed down well that's nice maybe i do that and buy one for my kids and do something like that i don't know the point is in, in being able to do this um younger than later the goal so if you can retire at 55 get your ducks in a row like i've always said you know cross your t's dot your i's i mean that's the perfect end state isn't it that's what you want to do live your life to your fullest at your youngest age the older you get it gets harder hell i was just standing out there on the dock for a couple hours and i'm gonna tell you hips hurt back starts hurting your feet start hurting right um it's, it's hard on you uh, 
but as you know, with any of you that are fishermen, right? Best time to get out there is early in the morning, probably six, or just when the light hits hits the water, seven. And I found that's when I caught that fish about seven fifteen. Pulled him up to the dock, like I said, and lost him. But or later in dusk, right? When it's just start turning dusk, those are the two times, opportune time, I should say, to catch bass, trout. Now, if you want, if you want uh, catfish, well, that's later at night because they're blind as hell anyway. But that being said, uh, if, if you got about a two-hour window in the morning, maybe three, and about a two-hour window at night. That's pretty much all you can do for fishing, or it's optimal. That's that's a fact, and that's it. But you know, for the rest of the time, we're we're kicking back, enjoying, barbecuing. Uh, catching up on each other's lives. Uh, we both, as you know, both served in the military. We both retired at the same time, opened the business together, uh, two coffee shops together. So, I mean, uh, we have a past, and now he's thinking about getting a, another cabin. Well, we'll see. I'd rather just rent, me personally, I'd just rather just rent it. Yeah, I don't want to own it. But back to you. If you can retire and get this done, do what we're doing, a little bit early, maybe three, five years earlier than us. Hey, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Join nature up here is real pretty, um, especially in the fall. As you know, it's you know the 18th or excuse me, 17th, the 18th of when we leave of September. Perfect time. Leaves are turning. Uh, the weather's cooling down. Uh, I'm wearing a jacket, and it's what almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't know if you can beat that now, y'all. It's better than city living. I'm here to tell you that. And where I live, we don't have these kind of lakes near Bernie, Texas. Just, just saying, it's too hot. Got a river going down through it, but it's drying up quick without rain. So, I mean, uh, there's some thought process here of, of maybe doing what, what Tony's mentioning. I don't know. But I might think about it. But again, it's going to have to be very, very alluring to me to do that. A little more privacy. I like it here, but you still got three or four cabins next door to you, right? I'd like to get an acre, acre and a half. It's my own place. But at my age, I'm not sure that it, that's advisable when I can rent a place. Anyway, big discussion. I hope you have a good time and a weekend coming up. Uh, and the rest of your week is good. It's great here. It was great talking to you. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. And think about your retirement plans. I keep mentioning on every video. Again, I'm not making nothing on these videos. I don't have enough. I have enough subscribers, I guess, but not enough views and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how it works, but in general, I'm happy just to talk about my life and, and my retirement. And this is what it's all about. Come up here for three, five days, kicking back with family or friends like we're doing. Just enjoying your life. Uh, all the stress of all that work is off your shoulders. You got nothing really to worry about, right? Except for flying back home, and that's it. I mean, you know, my biggest problem now is just getting on that darn airplane and flying back for what? I got to stop. a layover, unfortunately, because it's hard where I live in San Antonio area where you there's direct flights. It's tough. So, I mean, I got layovers, probably Charlotte and that sort of thing. And a yeah, two hour layover, you know how it is. Just traveling's a hassle. Uh, checking in bags and all kind of nonsense. But, hell, you know, I had a good time for these last couple of days. Again, that's what it's all about. Okay, y'all, you take care. God bless. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Great talk out.